Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and love. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to put on your notification bell so that as soon as I upload new videos, you will be notified. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make your how to fix your zipper flyer. It is very simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is my extension. I've measured out my extension, which is 1.5 inches, as you can see. And my inseam crotch is half of an inch. That's 0.5 inch. So the first thing I'm going to do is to decide where I want my zipper to stop. Although I've marked it, but I just need to explain to you how I arrived at. I want to start sewing from here. If you want to start sewing from here, you can as well do that. So, okay, you can start. Let's start from here. So, meaning that our zipper will stop somewhere around here. Let's add the past up here so we are going to i'm going to show with normal stitch up to this point then change my stitch to the longest stitch in my machine that is with basis stitch it so you can watch as i sew it normal stitch from here don't forget then here you pass stitch and change your stitch to the longest in your machine and you continue to sew This one that is in low stitch we are, is a temporary stitch, we are still going to lose it later. But before then, you can just slip the thread, just cut it small so that it becomes easier for us when you finish fixing your zip, zipper. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to press this open. I'll be going to the ironing table now and press it open and come and show you. I pressed it open with the way it is, then at the back is like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place the right side of my zipper on the right side of this place. So this ironing side, the iron part of the zipper will be at the center. Okay. At this point, you may want to change your foot to the part foot. So if you have, right now I can use my hand on my, so I will be making use of the foot I have on the machine. With the zipper foot, it makes it easier for you to fix your zipper. When you'll be managing this. Another thing you need to take note of is you are not going to sew it like this. Ensure that this side is on that. So you push everything to this side. That way you will not be sewing on it. So now that we have done that, you place your zipper. Okay. And you start sewing from where we marked. Where we want our zipper to start from here. Somewhere around here. Okay, so I will start sewing. Like I said, it's easier with your 
zipper foot. It's very, very easy. So we will manage this one. Adjust your action stitch to two normal. And we start sewing. Top here, you need to open your zipper. I've opened it. Lift up your foot and you open it. Then you finish sewing it. Okay. I'm going to zip back. So this is the way it is. So the next thing you are going to do is to turn it this way. And you top stitch on here. Let me show you the pencil and on that time. This is what we have done now. So you turn it this way. And this part of the extension will now be on that and you top stitch on it. It's not difficult at all, you just need to practice. I've finished top stitching, as you can see. So you, you open it again. So we are going to stitch this on this this way. If it's easier for you this way, you can start. But if it's not, you can do it like this. You start from here. Just as we did at this side, ensure that everything is at this side. So I've finished stitching the other side of it. So it's like this now. This is the way it is now. So I'm turning to the other side. So on um, this line here, you follow the line. Another thing you can do is you can mark it so that it will be it will be easier for you. You can mark it this way. You want to do that top stitch that you normally see on your trouser. So as you are sewing it, you can be checking. You can actually be checking. We are sewing on top of the extension. The basket. to this side where you started your zipper from that's where you are going to call it it's here somewhere around here you can put pin and you just mark it you call your sewing from there this way We are almost done. Let's 
so that it's looking like that top stitch that is always in front of uh, pants. Yeah. So the next thing we are going to do now is to lose here. I said it earlier on that this is temporary stitch. So we are going to lose it now. You can use your seam ripper. Do it nicely, please. Pick all the threads. So, our zipper flyer is ready. This is the way the inside is. As you can see, this is the way it is at the other side. That is it. Try it out and let us know how it is. And if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Till we see you again. Keep practicing. Bye.